745 and while many of us are focused on holiday shopping and then trying to spend some more time with families and friends or we're looking forward to those parties that are scheduled with your work Americans really need to remember it is easy to blow your diet with all those sugary treats that go along with those causing some serious health concerns November is American Diabetes Month and Dr. Arsalan Sheikh from Bon Secure's Baltimore Health System is here to kind of as a good reminder about what we need to be watching when we do reach for that plate of cookies, right? Oh yes, this is the one time from Halloween all the way to New Year's, yeah. the challenges, we have desserts, we have a lot of sweet things, pies. It's, remember, the key thing is moderation. We're not saying don't have anything at all for the holiday season, it's moderation, really having very small portions and really learn to ma manage your meals, both during Thanksgiving time, Christmas time period, it's important to manage those. It, it's addicting though, sugar, the part in there, it, 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 it literally changes the chemical balance in our body when we when we start biting it so it's easy to continue doing that and it's easy to follow that slope um, let's talk a little bit more about diabetes though type 1 versus type 2 yes those are the two main types type 1 diabetes used to be called insulin dependent diabetes this is more commonly seen in children where their body's not making any insulin mm -hmm. but now we're seeing that this type 1 diabetes can occur in adults too about 15 percent of people who develop type 1 diabetes are adults over the age of 45. Now, type 2 diabetes is the more common diabetes we hear about, which has been increasing in prevalence due to obesity. Mm -hmm. And this is the part where your body makes insulin. It doesn't work as well, and it may not make enough insulin either. And those are the people that also have prediabetes. We're seeing a, still an increase in it. About 9% of the U.S. population has it. Um, here in Baltimore City, about 12% of our population has diabetes, type 2 diabetes particularly. Common symptoms though when you diagnose for type 2, let's focus on the type 2 right now because pre-diabetic is, and that's where mm -hmm. the increase is. What, 95% yeah. of people that have diabetes are yes. type 2? Yes, yes, 95% are type 2 and believe it or not, the number one symptom is that they have no symptoms. People can be walking around not realizing they have diabetes, so getting tested is very, very vital. Once your sugars start going above 250, you might start urinating more often, especially at night, feeling very thirsty, may start getting tired, mm -hmm. you start losing weight unintentionally, and these are symptoms you really need to make sure you get seen by a physician right away to get tested for diabetes. Uh, and then you can change your health and actually slow the process down, stop the process it, yes. in, for some people. But let's talk now, going back to type 1, because that's the one that's it's really concerning. And when you were talking about with children, mm -hmm. there has been major advancements, though. I mean, yes. 20 years ago, some children diagnosed with type 1, it was, it was a death sentence. Yes, exactly. So now we have a lot of new advances with insulin pumps, continuous glucose monitoring systems, and what we call a closed loop system where they can actually turn off the pump if their um, blood sugars go too low. So especially for a child sleeping at night, the parents panicking, you know, what if the sugar goes too low? Right. Parents are stressed also. So having that availability for them really helps a lot for their management. Dr. Sheikh, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of awareness. We touched a little bit on diabetes, yeah. but just be concerned over the yes. holidays when enjoying those. Moderation, he said it right there. Jonathan, you heard that. Of course, we're starting to feel more like the holidays too when we step outside.